The Garden Report is brought to you by Price Picks and the Game Time app. Hey, Bobby Manning here, Noah Dalzell, Garden Report, Celtics beat the Hornets uh, in a back and forth game for most of the night. Celtics end up pulling away late, obviously in large part due to what happened between Grant Williams and Jason Tatum at midcourt there and a flurry of flagrant free throws that followed that sequence. Uh, but Nemesh Cato's role in the fourth quarter, significant minutes, even playing time with Luke Cornett in this game and then a closing effort from him here uh, to end a 6-for-6 six six performance with four offensive rebounds and uh, plenty of big plays in this game, especially on the offensive glass, again, creating second-chance opportunities for the Celtics. Enough to earn Joe Mazzulla's trust uh, to take on the primary role late in this game with Al Horford out in this one. Uh, you mentioned the other night being a turning point for him late in that game uh, in the eventual loss at Indiana. This might have actually been the real turning point because you actually saw the Celtics trust him in a close game for significant minutes in the fourth quarter where it wasn't just a desperation mad dash back. Yeah, but I think the last game was what started it, but ultimately like it showed you that it wasn't a fluky thing. It wasn't just a, you know, Indiana's a, a bad Kata matchup and let's just throw him out there and you know he earned the right to so let's keep him out there for overtime. I think that it was a turning point in the sense that he he earned those minutes and he earned the trust of Joe Missoula and um, tonight he did a lot of good things and Lou Cornette did a lot of good things and you just show you know, you're you're able to see off the bench now that they have multiple guys that Joe Missoula, Jordan Walsh being one of them. Um, and Again, I talked about it a couple times now, but the way that he gets offensive rebounds and puts it back, it's such a simple thing, but he ha he really does have a gift for it. Like, we see it time and again, and it's just free points. It's points that they would not have. It's rebounds that probably wouldn't be grabbed, and it's just automatic. He puts it back. He I don't think he missed a shot today. He's, you know, six for six. So he's been doing his job. And so, yeah, you know, you want to keep you want to keep fighting with him. You want to keep giving him that opportunity because the upside is there, and he's show showing that. And right now it's a low-risk, low high-reward situation because worst case, you know, you had a couple moments here where he didn't grab a defensive rebound. Trey Mann grabbed a few. Joe put Luke in. You know, Joe put Kata back in afterwards. It, you know, it wasn't a huge deal. Um, and so you see everybody's coaching him up. Al was talking to him a bunch tonight. Uh, Sam Cassell was talking to him. Everybody's kind of in his ear helping him out. Um, but I think that he's showcasing why people are excited about him and why they took a two-way and signed him to a fully guaranteed multi-year deal. Yeah, and that offensive rebound component is so important because I feel like if we're comparing him to Luke, which is obviously minutes-wise where you're going to try to make a choice there in terms of how often you utilize them. Luke's the better passer. Luke's the better screener, certainly. Like, I think that's Luke's swing skill is how good he is screening and probably more impactful to their defensive style at, you know, dropping back at center and taking away the rim than Kate is right now. But Kata is miles ahead of Luke as an offensive rebounder, even with Luke's strides there and at least securing it at the very least. Kata's, I think, just by and far. I, can't, I should have looked at his numbers before this, but I have to imagine Kata is one of the best permanent offensive rebounders in the league, if not the best. And they need that. They miss a lot of threes. They take a lot of threes, so they're going to miss a lot. So they have to be able to create second-chance opportunities off those, number one. And number two, if you see him being a long-term part of this team, you almost have to push him through some struggles. So I'm a Luke guy. I hope that there's ways that they can continue to utilize both. But if they wanted to swing toward the Cata direction and say there's some more upside there that we're going to invest in, I wouldn't hate it. Yeah, and again, you know, it's not either or. They use both tonight. There's going to be lots of moments where they use both. Um, and I think stylistically, like, the Luke tip-outs get a lot of flack from the fans. But he keeps the possession alive. I mean, they get another, they get a 20, a clear 14 seconds with, you know, Tatum with the ball in his hands. So it's, it's tough because I feel like when it doesn't end up in Boston's hands, that's where they're vulnerable in transition yeah. and have had some struggles with that. So, like, you'd obviously like, yeah, yeah. I remember from my career, my short lived career, <laughs> they would go crazy, teammates, whoever. When you would tip it out. When I would room. tip it out because if it didn't go to someone, it's like, what the hell, just grab yeah. it. But sometimes it's easier said but than Kata done. Kata does the two hands, he, Puts it back. He was six for six tonight. So, and I, I, I you know, multiple offensive rebounds that went right, right back in momentarily. And you know, quick, quick points there, and, and critical moments too. In the fourth quarter, there was a few where it was like they had a trouble scoring, they had trouble getting something going. And Kata's there, and it's just right place, right time, good instincts, quick hands. You know, he just has it. So, again, like there's going to be mistakes that he makes that Luke probably would make. Something that he's been working a lot on is his screening uh, and just making, you know, becoming a better screener. It's little things that, again, like they're not going to be the storyline. They're not going to stuff the stat sheet. But, you know, there's a marginal difference between his screening now and a year ago. And that marginal difference could be the difference between him being out there and him not being out there. 
Um, and so, yeah, a lot, of, a lot to like about him. And I, again, it's like, what, what are we, five games into the season? The fact that we're already seeing improvement from him, the fact that he's already being used, he's in this conversation. Not, you don't know that everybody's going to be available all year. There's going to be little things that keep people out. You know, if Luke has a calf strain like he did last year that kept him out a little bit, like now there's not this question of like who else is available. Like Kata's there, you know, or vice versa. You know, Kata's had his foot thing in the past. So it just gives you flexibility. You know, it gives you depth, and it's really all you can ask for. Yeah, and Xavier Tillman, DMP CD in this one. So we'll see how his role transforms in the near future here. But Celtics lean on Cornette and a ton of Kata uh, to get by without Al Horford in this win. Horford never will be back tomorrow for the second game of this back-to-back, -back, so we'll see what the center rotation looks like with Horford back in the fold. Obviously, you could start to decrease his minutes a little bit there, too, and utilize more of Luke and Kata to keep everybody involved at that spot. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that tomorrow here. Celtics All Access, CLNS Media will be post-game and have coverage throughout, as always. For Noah Dalzell, I'm Bobby Manning. Check out our sponsor's prize picks. Use the code CLNS uh, to get a bonus over there when you play a $5 lineup. And game time. Use the code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Celtics beat the Hornets. Uh, Grant Williams a big topic as well. Go check out that video. And we'll see you back here in Charlotte tomorrow. Hey, Bobby Manning here. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed this video. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out our social media platforms at Celtics CLNS.